Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudobuyo playing vanilla Minecraft 15w40b of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC edition. And in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix the automatic carrot and potato farm by Unary Bit, um, uh, which has broken for the most recent 1.9 snapshots. Uh, this is really one of my favorite farms, uh, even just for its attention to detail, uh, so I was kind of eager to fix this. Uh, I, so I, I went over to the original video that Unary Bit has on this farm, and it seems that uh, some other people were having the same problems that I was having. Uh, and uh, Unary Bit, it turns out, has a really nice fix for this, uh, or for at least one of the problems here, and, and that was uh, uh, the villager that's right here. Uh, this villager here is um, collecting food that's shared by this farming villager over here. When the, uh, the farming villager will come over here, throw the food over this half slab uh, in an attempt to share it with this villager here, and the food will enter the water stream and go down to a collection point. Uh, now, uh, this villager here then can't have any food, otherwise the farming villager won't throw food to it. Uh, now, in the stacked versions of this farm, we've got a farming villager here and, and a collecting villager here, and if I go down a layer, I've got the same thing down here, farming villager here and a collecting villager here. And the villager right here that's supposed to be collecting food, or trying to collect food thrown by this farmer here, uh, this villager can now sometimes pick up food that is thrown by the farming villager in the layer above, by this guy. So this guy is supposed to be attempting to share food with this guy, and <laughs> nobody's supposed to be able to pick up food. Uh, but this villager down here can sometimes pick up the food thrown by the uh, thrown by the farming villager in the layer above. Uh, when it picks up enough food, this farming villager will no longer attempt to share food with it, and as a consequence, this farm will effectively break. Uh, so Unary Bit's sol uh, elegant solution to that was simply to raise the water stream up here by one block. Uh, rather than it being uh, just one block above the head of the villager in the layer beneath, uh, raise it up by another block and that way the collecting villagers will not be able to pick up food that is in the water stream. Uh, there's another problem with these farms however and uh, you can see that here these carrots are kind of hanging on the edge of this, uh, uh, this half slab. Now food that is thrown by the farmers uh, doesn't always make it across the half slab into the water stream. Uh, and that, at the very least, is going to make this farm much less efficient. So uh, one of the things that can be done uh, to fix that uh, is to replace the block that is underneath the half slab with a block of ice. When, a, uh, when food is then thrown by the farming villager, it will just simply slide across the half slab into the raised water stream. Uh, so uh, that is uh, that would be the things that I would want to do for all the different layers of this particular farm. Uh, I'm going to, uh, first of all, any villagers that have food, um, any of these collecting villagers that have food, and that is going to be every single one of these collecting villagers except for the one at the top layer uh, now potentially has food. All of those villagers are going to have to go away, and they're going to have to be replaced by villagers that don't have food. Uh, so you'll have to probably replace some villagers, uh, and um, in addition to that, uh, we want to raise the water stream and add that block of ice uh, uh, for every single one of these layers. So I'm, I'm just going to do that for this layer here. Let me go into uh, back into creative mode, uh, and first things first, let me uh, get rid of that water. I'll move that in a second. Uh, and uh, I want to replace this block here with a block of ice. Uh, now, the villager underneath is going to prevent me from just uh, adding a block in. I, I, I can't do it, so I'm going to have to push it in with a piston. Let me get a lever here also, uh, and uh, grab the ice. Okay, so uh, I have uh, my piston and a block of ice, and now I just need to uh, push that block in above the head of the villager. That will place it right underneath the half slab. Okay, uh, there it is. Uh, and now I can go ahead and add uh, the block on top of this and go ahead and uh, put in the water so I have my raised water stream. There we go. So um, oh, I probably want to raise that sign as well. There we go. 
Uh, okay, so um, uh, three things then uh, for all the collecting villagers, except the, the villager at the in the top layer of this uh, of this farm. Uh, all of the collecting villagers uh, are going to need to be replaced because they probably all have food. Uh, and then the block that is underneath this half slab needs to be replaced with ice uh, and the water stream needs to be raised up by one block. Uh, and once that is done, uh, this farm should continue to operate normally. Uh, that is it then for this video. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments and thanks for watching.